okay so hello everybody so today we are going to make a profit calculator so now let's start with the part of with the story every month the dish purchases the toys from the factory at a low price and sells them at a high price he needs to calculate his profit his profit percentage every month after selling the toys now the dish wants you to create an app for him which would do this uh, calculation for it Tish at the end of every month. So, so first, let's. Um, I have made a design, so I will be. Uh, I have also made a copy, so I will just send this copy, and you have to click here, make copy. Okay, or I'll show you one more. I'm just opening my spare thunkable for the spare project. Like for example, my open this. I open any app. Now I have to click on copy the copy project, and then it will, and then it will um, take you to that thing. Like I, it's not working here because I do, I have not made it. I have not made it. It's um I don't know. It's made by some other user, Albert. So um, you have to copy the project. Okay, I'll click. And um, if you want to share with your family and friends, you have to click on share. It will generate. Then click on generate link, and then the link will uh, expire after sixty days. If if the app is downloaded and if you can even publish it on App Store, App Store, or Google Play, and but um, then you will have to to publish it on web. Then you will have to uh, upgrade to Pro. They also need some money, right? Okay. So um, let's make it. I'll close this tab, and let's start here. So, what are we going to make today? We're going to make a profit calculator, right? So I know my video froze. I also saw that. So we are going to make a profit calculator. So um, I've already made the design, and you it will not. Uh, you don't have to make design because I'll I'll be sharing the design thing. But if you want to make design, it's very good. Because um, instead of making a uh, just uh, copying the app, you can make your own app and make design on your own. And anytime if you think that I'm going too fast, you can pause the video. Okay. So let's go to blocks. I'm going to just shift my video here. Not be able to see full of my video, but still be able to see this much of my video right first let me um this change the design of this thing uh, screen one um, i'll just um just click here and then you'll be able to see me um let me do it profit and I will make my own logo, okay? Profit calculator. So I'll also make my own logo. Okay, so now I will go to blocks, switch on my video, and do it here. So now let's start off with the code. So, first, Need to uh, when it should be when button this button calculate is clicked, then only it should show the result. Okay, right? So when button button one calculate click, set app cost price to from cost price get text. Okay, so we are first we need to in initialize variables. Okay. So now this is a new this is a new thing, okay? And I'm also going to show I'm also going to tell you one thing. When you make your Thunkable account, now you have to sign with Google. 
you have to sign with google or you can continue with email also and um you can uh, view those projects on thunkable live okay it's an app on which you can it's on i think play store and app store thunkable live so then you have to log in sign with google on that phone or continue with email i i have logged in with uh, google only so um so then i so um it shows you choose the app on your phone how it how it look like on phone so that is also a good thing it's nice advantage of thinkable so first let's initialize the variables now how to initialize a variable so you have to go to variables and you see this initialize app variable name now wait now um, i need uh, something a uh, name so you can just it says name but you can change it i i'm making the first variable as profit and i'll give you one more tip also so you have to set it to 0 so when you set it to 0 instead of doing all the things adding the box again and again you can control c b b b it's such easy right it's so easy then cost price selling price profit percentage you have to in the variable right cost it accepts uh, space but i'm not going to give space cost price mm, and selling price so i think selling price or yeah, selling price and then the profit percentage yes So instead of removing this profit, I can straight away write percentage in front of it. So now I will just arrange it in order. With here, I will make it far away so that I don't, I don't need to. It will not get interrupted in between, right? So I'll make it far away, far away. <laughs> So now we need to make the code for button one calculate click. So first we need to set the app uh, set app cost price, right? So we'll get it in app cost price. You get in cost price, right? Oh sorry sorry it's a very <laughs> I also get confused sometimes. I have to click on this. Set app cost price to from cost price get text. Okay, so we are setting the variable number. First, uh, for now, the variable number is zero. It's the variable answer is set to zero. But now we need to change it. So that's why we are getting a text. We and go to W is in app lab. We use get text. Here it is. From cost price get text, so you will get it in cost price only. It's saying get hint, but we can we can replace it to get text. And whenever you use these block coding platforms, now it is a tuck that sound. So I I like the sounds like it's not very helpful. And code the dog I liked that thing which made which highlighted the boundary right. It was nice. It was helpful. Like this is the problem. You have to um, just move this problem. It's happening here. So it tells you the problem is there. So it's a little nice feature I liked in the code the dog. So. um we'll s- now we need to do a- the same thing as we did with the uh, cost price right so now i'll just instead of uh, doing everything i'll just copy paste i'll just change the thing i'll do it selling price app selling price from selling price get text now i need to make set app profit so i'll just remove this control c v with a second yeah i need two so i'll do it two times now i have put it here then i will just add, i'll change the variable 
is I'll change it to app profit and this the last one I'll change it to profit percentage so now for that so the code for so a variable app profit okay so we will do app set will take a minus operator from here and uh, I know my cursor is disappearing in the video I know that it might because it's not disappearing at my side I've experienced it many videos that you can't see the cursor so it might disappear in you now you can see it I don't know but anyways I'm speaking that's why I enable microphone access okay so now um, let's take a minus operator and then I will take a variable you'll take um, take your app selling price minus app cross cost price minus app cost price set app um, set app profit percentage two so now we are going to take a, a division operator from math only it's still math so we'll drag it and keep it there then we'll take a multiplication operator we'll drag it and keep it there then we will this should be multiplied by 100 then only we will get the profit the right profit 100 and then we will take the variable app profit variable app profit multiplied by 100 divided by app cost price so now we will take app cost price from this variables thing so then we are halfway done with the code we are we just need a little bit two more lines of code i think so um like i have this code stored in my mind so i just make my own things on my own so now i just need to know what is the name of this label label one okay so i will put from label one set text where is label two this one is label two this one i think is label one only yeah let me take label one and uh, and when you move this in code dot uh, it it would it could go this but in thunkable it will not go it automatically removes that block and puts that block here so that's a nice feature I like in thunkable now I'm going to take a new thing Okay, I think it's an object. No, where is it? It might be in text. Yes, yes. It's, uh, it's, 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 uh, then it's this one. Uh, join this. Yes. Now, round. It will be in maths. I think so it will be in maths yeah it's here so we'll put it here and move this hello <laughs> I'm used to that one now huh? so round take round app profit percentage notice will control C control V it app profit percentage Stage. and then we will take um, oh why do I do like that I put it here I'll remove this hmm. then I will put uh, I, I don't move the second one from this join one okay join block like what happens if you click on this Oh, we can add number of items needed. Okay. 
So now we are going to put percentage sign. Now I need to find where's percentage. Yeah, it's here above shift five. Oh. Now I am it's going to vibrate. So I'm, now this is a new feature. I'm going to show you first. So you have to go to device and take this vibrate it's up to you if you want to your phone will vibrate your laptop will not because there's no vibrators it will give the command to the laptop but it will not vibrate so now i think um, it should work properly so now we'll preview and check let's type the selling price selling price um will be 67 and the cost price will be 60 12 percent of benefit now let's um check the profit so the selling price is 100 and the real cost price is 50 so will it show 50 percent selling price is 100 and the cost price is 50 showing 100 percent um, I, then I should take 50 or oh, let me take 60 and 30 then we'll show it should be uh, 60 and 30 50 then let me take a 68 and 27 percent I think there is a problem. Let me check here. No, everything is correct. Let me take hundred. It's saying the percent of profit of saying the percent of profit percentage of profit let me take 10 and the cost price is 90 what's the profit minus 89 yes that's the thing i like okay so this is it for today and i'll be sharing the link so please see the description box okay so until next time it's Summit Pencil signing out or zooming out